Uh, g'day guys, we're just here at the auction night for the BPL and we're with Steve Paulson who's just been traded to the Western Power for a million and fifty thousand dollars. Fake dollars, but you know, still the same. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, pretty good. It's a, uh, it's, it's a weird night, I guess, but uh, pity it's not real money. As yeah. you just said, fake, but uh, pity it's not real. Yeah, yeah, no, very true. Um, so a million and fifty bucks out of a three million dollar budget. If I've got to ask, if you were running a team, would you... How would you be spending your money? A bit more frugally than that, or are you happy with that? I don't know if I'd be going for a 40-year-old, uh, good likely to do a hamstring, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, <laughs> very fair. Um, and yeah, so, you know, 40 years of age, you've been around for a little while, and then uh, you get sold for a million and fifty bucks, and a very appropriate song came, comes on. I'm still standing. Were you involved in that selection? Well, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought oh, I'm still standing. I am old, and uh, so might as well go with a uh, weird song like that. Yeah, nice, mate. I like it. Um, and then obviously it's a it's a pretty different concept, you know. Like you you get to play with a bunch of blokes that you you haven't played with before, I suppose. In a totally sort of random selection of, of the team. Uh, so I wanted to ask: Is there anyone you're looking forward to not playing with now? Is there that one bloke in your in your t- side over at West that sort of gets on your nerves every Saturday that you finally escaped from? That's not at West. Uh, no, they're, they're mostly pretty good, but at least at least I'm uh, not playing with Lee, who's at the uh, Southern Southern Rockets. Uh, yeah, all right. Just at the BPL auction here with Josh Matthews, just been picked up by the Marlins, I believe. 500k. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, mate. I didn't really know what was happening there, but it uh, all happened, and yeah, going the Marlins, which is good. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned before, mate, that you're heading up to Mackay tomorrow for a T20 comp, just getting in some early preparation. How are you feeling about that? Mate, I haven't hit a ball since end of last round, uh, and I'm on the beers here tonight, so uh, yeah, Norse, good luck. It's an exciting new concept, and um, you'll, yeah, you'll get to play with plenty of people you haven't played with, but you'll also get to not play with people that you're forced to play with every Saturday. Is there one annoying bloke at Valleys that you're stoked to be getting away from? Yeah, probably. I mean, I wish I was getting away from Dylan McLaughlin, but I, I'm, somehow I've managed to end up away with him. But Gody, I mean, yep. uh, it'd be difficult bowling to him, in all honesty. He hits you everywhere. So it'd be interesting having to face him in the comp. Yeah, yeah no, I agree, mate. I'd, I'd be stoked if I could get away from him, but he's at my house every Monday night, so it's a tough gig. All right, so we're here with Liam Smith. He's just gone to the Coastal Marlins for 150k. How are you feeling about that, mate? Do you reckon they've paid unders or overs there? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Obviously, get to play with a bunch of new people, but also you get to not play with people that you're forced to play with every weekend. Is there anyone you're looking forward to getting away from? That, <laughs> Michael McKeown. <laughs> yeah, Michael McKeown, definitely number one. Yep. Um, obviously, guys like you know, Lee Drennan talks a lot in the Redlands change room, so the change room be a lot quieter. Um, Simon Malenko really devastated that he didn't sign me. Um, I'll let him know yeah. throughout the year, especially the next three to four years he plays for us, for Redlands, which is what he's told me that he's going to play. So, but yeah, no, it should be good. Should be good. Um, all right, so just here with Jack Beath. He's just been picked up by the Morton Magic for 600 grand. How are you feeling, mate? Do you reckon they've paid unders or overs? Mate, I would have thought overs, but um, I'm pretty happy with... with um Join the Morton Magic. Uh, it's a pretty good roster, so yeah. looking forward to joining up with them in uh, August. And uh, last but certainly not least, mate, yeah. most importantly, how was my dinner tonight? Dinner, perfect, mate. It was so good. Yeah. I really appreciate the fact that you're vegan, so yeah. that uh, that medium rare rump steak was delicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, I got served three steaks and obviously could eat zero of them. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, that'll do us. Thanks very much, mate, and best Thanks, of luck. Dry. Cheers, mate. All right, here with uh, Paddy Dooley. Just got picked up by the Pirates, mate. Uh, Mitch, where, where'd you go in the draft? Ooh, uh, yeah, went early doors, mate. Got picked up. It paid, paid a pretty nice price. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Went through to the bin list um, and probably didn't get picked up there either, but wait and see. <laughs> Free feed and a few beers. It's all worth it, I guess. I, w- I wish. I... <laughs> Uh, the two feeds were a steak and a chicken, and I'm a vegan, so I gave my meal over to Beefy, and then I've had a shambles with the beeves as well. They were free. I think I had one while they were free, and then I've bought three full-price ones. So, yeah, I've had a bad night. Excellent, mate, excellent. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you had a better, man. Best of luck in the comp, mate. All right, so there has been some tension built up around a certain event towards the end of Cody's career. I've already given Smithers a chance tonight to tell his side of the story, so I'll go to you first, Cody. Tell me... What happened that day, mate? And why do you hate Larry Longneck? This is what the footage did. Smithers and I were just having like an honest conversation. She's like, yeah, yeah, we'll work it out. It's fine. Yeah. And then like this grown man over here with the, the penalty spot on the back of his, like, not oh, very grown. Oh. He started crying though, and so 
like, yeah, Lee, you realise this is like ninth versus tenth, right? You understand this, right? No one cares.